Rob from Booking Live here. Today I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of the Booking Live Enterprise product. Let's take a look at two things. Firstly, the booking journey. Next, the admin system. Let's process a booking as if we're a customer. Firstly, we'll need to select the product that we want to book. Bread Masterclass. I get a nice image, description alongside that. I can see the pricing. So let's hit book now. That's going to take us through to the start of the Booking Live journey. Five steps here. And step number one is all about selecting the time in which I want to attend. Add a participant, myself. Let's move over to April. Hit the 16th and I can see between 10 and 1, this course is running and there's 10 spaces left. So hit select. I can now select optional extras. These can have a cost associated with them and they can be used as a way to maximize revenue per head that goes through the system. In this instance, it's just a completely free of charge tote bag. So let's add this onto the order. Now we can continue on step two, just, just before we do so, we've got frequently asked questions. These are here as a key deflector between the admin staff and your customers. How will my data be processed? Do I need a certain level of cooking ability to attend one of your courses? And is parking available? The basics. So as we hit continue and move on to step two, we're in the basket. I get an overview of the products in the basket. I can also see that I've actually gained an automatic discount simply for booking on a weekday. 10% off here, £6.50. Any automated discounts and promotions would run, just as we can see here, but we do also give the ability for vouchers and promo codes alike. Just put the code in here, hit apply, and the discount will be shown on the right-hand side. Again, frequently asked questions. As we move on to checkout, the system now wants to identify who I am. Am I a returning customer or am I booking for the first time? Let's proceed on the basis that we are booking for the very first time. However, if I was a returning customer, I would just log in here using a password. And when I hit continue, the system's going to pull my information from the booking live system and streamline this booking process for returning customers. I've got autofill options here. So there is information automatically filled in, but these forms are your opportunity to capture as much or as little information from your customers as you like. The key information here really is the email address as it is an online booking system. You can customize these as said to ask as much or as little information as you like. Terms and conditions, these will be your terms and conditions, not ours, as they are booking with you just using the Booking Live platform. You can also use these types of tick boxes for contact preference prerequisites. As we continue through to summary, we just get an overview of the information that I've put into the system. I can now select my payment method. I'm going to be using a payment gateway here to pay for this all in full. There are other payment methods available and you can integrate with around 30 to 35 payment gateway providers, SagePay or now Apeo, a preference of ours. So let's hit checkout. Select our payment option. Card information goes in. Confirm card details and pay. Now, once the payment's being taken, it's going to confirm my order. And a few things will happen at this stage. Firstly, a confirmation email sent through to the customer confirming this order. Those emails are fully customizable. Nice PDF attachments, any pre-reading materials that may be needed. An email is sent through to the admin team, letting them know that a new order has been taken. But most importantly, all of this is updated in real time automatically in the admin system.